Before World War II, Czechoslovakia had the strong military-industrial enterprise of Skoda, which was quite proficient in tank design and manufacturing. The more famous tank models were the 35T and 38, both of which participated in many battles during World War II. In the 1930s, Czechoslovakia also had another mass-produced light tank, the VZ-4. This tank originally achieved good export results, but production was affected by the annexation of Czechoslovakia. After World War II, production resumed, and it continued to serve in Ethiopia until the 1980s. The basic external appearance of the VZ-4 light tank looks similar to the 35T light tank. The tank driver is located in the right front of the hull with the fighting position on his left side and the engine compartment at the rear of the hull. The tank is powered by a 3.4-liter six-cylinder water-cooled engine, which can produce 55 horsepower at 2,500 RPM, with a gearbox featuring four forward gears and one reverse gear. The diameter of the idler wheel is slightly larger, which should be related to Skoda's research in the 1930s. Skoda realized that in order to increase the speed of the tank, it was important not only to increase the power, but also the suspension and the size of the idler wheel. The VZ4 uses four pairs of idler wheels and one pair of track supporting wheels with the drive wheel at the front, but the idler wheel suspension is of a leaf spring structure. The driver's front has armored louvers and bulletproof glass, providing the driver with good visibility. A ZB-26 or ZB-30 machine gun is mounted on the right side of the driver, with the machine gun controlled by a cable structure and operated by the driver. The turret of the tank is very small, only accommodating one crew member to operate inside the tank. The turret is equipped with a ZB-53 machine gun mounted on a spherical gun mount. To the right of the turret machine gun, there is an observation window, and there is also an observation slit above the turret. The tank does not have a cannon, but the machine gun ammunition supply is sufficient, with a total of 3,700 rounds of ammunition, supporting continuous firing for a long time. The tank is of a metal frame structure, with armored plates riveted to the frame ranging from 6 to 12 millimeters in thickness. This level of protection was considered standard for light tanks in the 1930s. For example, the early number one light tank had a maximum armor thickness of only 13 millimeters. The thin armor of the VZ-4 light tank also makes the tank lighter, with a combat weight of only 3.9 tons and a ground pressure of only 0.5 kil CM2. Czechoslovakia itself did not equip the VZ-4, but rather used it as an export equipment. Iran, Romania, and Sweden all expressed interest in purchasing the tank. Iran initially placed an order for 50 tanks, but later increased the order to 100 and 300 tanks. However, only a small number of these orders were completed. Romania ordered 36 tanks, and Sweden ordered 48 tanks, with both countries seeking independent production. The tanks produced by Romania were named R1, and those produced by Sweden were named STRVM-37. The latter replaced the 85-horsepower engine, increased the maximum armor thickness to 15 millimeters, and removed the machine gun on the right side of the hull, instead installing two machine guns in parallel in the turret. The combat weight of the tank increased to 4.68 tons, and this tank served until 1953. Ethiopia also purchased 20 VZ-4 tanks, but this was after the end of World War II in 1948. The basic structure of the tank remained the same, with the only change being the replacement of the engine with a 65-horsepower diesel engine. These tanks participated in many battles in Africa and continued to serve until the 1980s. The combat weight of the VZ-4 light tank is 3.9 tons, with a length of 3.2 meters, a width of 1.73 meters, a height of 1.67 meters, a maximum speed of 45 kilometers per hour, a maximum range of 170 kilometers, the ability to cross a trench 1.5 meters wide, climb a vertical obstacle of about 0.6 meters high, and ford a depth of 0.8 meters of water. The crew consists of two people, and there is no radio or other equipment inside the tank. The total production was 74 tanks, and some of the export orders were not completed due to war.